welcome to another video. Today we will be reading Lady and the Tramp by Disney. Jim, dear, and his wife are celebrating their first Christmas together. Jim wanted to be wanted it to be really special, so he gave his wife a a present. And when she unwrapped it, it was a popped a, li a little pup. Darling attached collar for, for the puppy. Darling decided to call her pup Lady. She said that her pup looked pretty and elegant in her collar. After that, Darling gave Lady a basket and a blanket. Months passed and Lady grew. She was the happiest dog in the world. Jim and, and Darling played with her every day. As spring turned into summer, they did not play much with Lady, but they seemed to talk a lot about Baby. Who is that Baby? wondered Lady. She felt left out. One afternoon, a stranger poked his muzzle in Lady's garden. He rather scruffy and did not have a collar. Lady wondered what kind of dog he would have been. The stranger was called Tramp. When he asked Lady what was her name, Lady turned her back and said, I don't talk to strangers. Tramp turned to go, but he left with a smile. I have a feeling that we're going to meet again. Goodbye, Lady. How did you know my name? demanded astonished. The next, when Lady visited Darling's bed, there was a baby boy. Lady looked at the boy and smiled. This must be the baby they were talking about, she said to herself. He is almost cute as a puppy. Everything went well in the happy household. A few months later, Jim and Darling decided to go on their own holiday. They asked Sarah, who was Darling's aunt, to come and look after Lady. But Aunt Sarah did not come alone. She bought two strange creatures and her and they had an evil look in their blue eyes. They were Sarah's Siamese cats, C and Anne. And Sarah never went anywhere without her cats. Once they were out of their basket, the cats switched up to Lady saying, You better keep out of our way. We don't like dogs. Lady thought they were very unfriendly. To make matters worse, Lady had a feeling that Aunt Sarah did not like dogs very much. She sadly watched as Jim and Daring waved goodbye to Sarah. Please don't leave me, she silently played. Aunt Sarah went to check on the baby as soon as the two naughty cats see her leave the room. They jump on the furniture to catch the poor canary in its cage and the little fish in its bowl. When Aunt Sarah comes to see what all the noise was all about, she accused Lady for making all these noise. She, she chased her out with the broom. Lady was furious to be treated so unfairly. She decided to run away and not come back. I've had enough of Aunt Sarah and her cats, she said to herself. Lady wandered the streets for hours and finally found herself on a crappy, seedy part of town. Suddenly she heard barking and was terrified when she saw some fair dogs ready to attack. To a lady's astonishment, Tramp appeared. He bounded up to Lady and barely fought of the dogs who were surrounding her. It didn't take him long to see the brutes and they ran away. Lady was revealed to be safe and have someone to talk to. That she told Tramp all of her problems with Aunt Sarah and the cats. Come on, said Tramp. Anything else? We need a good meal. Tramp took Lady to an Italian restaurant he knew. The owner 
was a great friend of Tramp. He bought them a big plate of spaghetti and while they ate, he played a big, beautiful Italian songs on his accordion. Oh, this is wonderful, Lady delighted to Tramp. After their dinner, Lady and Tramp went to, to the park for a romantic moonlight walk. The two days grass as tenderly as they were. At the end of the day, full of adventure and new feelings, the two new friends went to sleep under the stars. The next morning, wait, dude, we have to switch. Now that's perfect. Back to the story. The next morning, Lady felt much better. She and Tramp explored the outskirts of town. She was enjoying her walk when suddenly Tramp heard clucking of the chicken in a garden. Did you hear that lady? Chickens, chickens means eggs. Eggs mean breakfast, cried Tramp before he lady could stop and he leaped right into the chicken coop. Stop, yelled lady, he'll get caught. But Tramp did not care her how. He was too busy chasing the chicken around. The farmer was so angry that he called for the dog catcher to come and catch Tramp. Tramp managed to escape, but poor lady, who couldn't run fast, was caught and bundled into the dog catcher's way. The dog pound was a gloomy place, and lady, who had never been locked up before, trembled with fear. Luckily, the other dogs were kind to her. There's nothing to be scared of, said one of them. Your name and address are on your collar. Your owners will be looking for you. He was right. The next day, one of the guards took Lady home. Once again, Aunt Sarah was angry with Lady. This time, she took Lady outside and chained her to the kennel. Lady was ashamed she had never been put on the change before. Tramp arrived, relieved to see Lady again, but she was angry with him. Look at me. Shh, I'm a prisoner, she shouted. This is all your fault. Go away. I never want to see you again. Tramp slunk away slowly. Lady had never felt so sad and lonely in life. She couldn't sleep and wished Jim and Darling would come home soon. She had thought that Trump was her friend, but all he had done was make things work. Suddenly, she saw a showery figure creeping towards the house. It was an enormous rat. The rat climbed on the roof and slipped through the window of the baby's bedroom. Lady barked and tried to get free. Tramp heard all the barking and came to Lady, running to help. Lady was pulling at her chain and explained what she had seen. There's no time to lose, barked Tramp. Luckily, the kitchen was agar and Tramp raced into the house, who followed by Lady, who at least managed to break of her chain. They charged upstairs to baby's bedroom, then spotted Tramp the rat, then Tramp spotted the rat and launched himself at it. The upar woke the baby. Aunt Sarah, who didn't see the dead rat, she was concerning on these two dogs. Out, she yelled down to the cellar. Now, and with that, Lady and Tramp found themselves locked in the basement. Aunt Sarah called the dog catcher who came in his wagon to take Tramp away. Jin and Darling arrived just as a dog woman with Tramp in it. What on earth is going on? asked Jim and Aunt Sarah. Jim turned to Lady. Lady, what is all this? Have you been behaving badly? Lady had to show him the dead trap. Maybe they would understand what really had happened. Lady bounded up to the stairs, barking for them to follow her. In the bedroom, Lady showed them the death hat. Good heavens, said Aunt Sarah. I thought baby, I thought Lady and the other mangy dog wanted to harm the baby. 
I must get that dog before he arrives at the pound, said Jim anxiously. He took Lady hailed a taxi cab and soon caught up with the dog catcher's wagon. He explained to the driver what had happened. Tramp was set free. Jim saw how happily Lady was and began to laugh. So you love this big dog, do you? He said, perhaps we better invite him to come and live with us. Then Lady thought that was a very good idea. Tramp had never lived in a house before. He was happy to live with Jim and Darling and, of course, his beloved Lady. Then, when Christmas time came round, there were one, two, three, four puppies playing under the Christmas tree. Lady and Tramp were proud of their family. It was truly a wonderful Christmas. The end. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching us read Lady and the Tramp. Bye.